Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A huge shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. If you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member to support the channel or even play with me on my server, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulate the Lion Darkest Fools mod. So, I was just thinking about last episode when that demon attacked us. Uh, for those of you who didn't catch last episode, we had a wandering horde with an incubus and succubus demon boss. Well, two bosses. Um, the incubus boss actually hit us uh, once or twice, and we didn't really lose HP because we were wearing maxed out military armor, right? Um, the thing is just, this is light armor 7. Our steel armor is like light, uh, heavy armor 10 or 11. I wonder if I shouldn't make myself titanium armor for hordes. Because you're standing in one position, you're not really moving a lot, so that's what you, when you need the really tough stuff. Anyways, this episode we're going to try and clear this place. I just have this feeling this is going to be bad. <laughs> this place is going to be crawling with zombies. Man, look at all these office chairs. The fact that they're not spawning in yet is actually what's bothering me right now. This place is supposed to be crawling. Hello? But there's one or two over there. Okay, so where are we supposed to go in anyways? I don't know if I'm supposed to go through this door. Oh, well, this is open. Hello? Tough zombie. Okay, so we need to be careful about this. We need to make sure we don't do anything dumb. Uh, we need to play the smart because we don't want to get overrun the zombies. Also, last episode, I waste, wasted way too much of my ammo. I want to make sure that if it's not necessary for quail gun, we don't use the quail gun. Um, I do want to do this, though. All this stuff, I'm just quickly going to wrench because we do need these resources. But I'm going to try and see. If it's a tough zombie, I want to uh, scope it out first. If it's a tough zombie, we use the rifle. If it's a normal zombie, then we use the quail gun. It just makes sense, right? Except if it's that far away, then we just use that gun. Now we want to make sure we get the whole bottom floor first before we move up. The tough part is going to be knowing whether you're done or not. And I just hope we get some uh, gyrocopter parts this episode. That would be so cool. I have no idea whether we're going to be able to do all of this. I wonder if I should first loot it. Or, or rather, first clear it and then quickly wrench it. Then I can cut out the wrenching part. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to work best, actually. Because this is... Oops. This can take a, ton, a lot of time, or a ton of time, just wasting, wrenching like this. And also, if you get a ton of this stuff, it can actually encumber you as well. You don't want to be encumbered when you're clearing a place as big as this. Oh, hello. A shot, thank you. We need to be careful of secret rooms, secret compartments, zombies just falling on our heads. Um, especially if it's like behemoths and stuff, you don't want that falling on your head. I just have this feeling that the buff behemoths actually hit harder than demonic behemoths. Even though that doesn't really make a ton of sense, you just, if you think about it, they move slower, but they But that's the thing. The buff behemoth actually moves really, really fast, so you can't really say that. We'll see after the first floor uh, what's going to be the best. Should I just quickly clear the rest of the building and then do the rest of the floors? Or is this okay like this? This should be able to kill him one shot. Even if it's through a window, these bullets armor pierce like crazy. Um, for those of you who didn't see... Let me just quickly check what's over here. Oh, this glass wall. That's kind of messed up. I hate these glass walls. You can't really tell where they are. Or whether there are some glass walls there. But yeah, um... The armor piercing on these things are, is insane. Uh, on any of my quail guns. Last episode when we killed that one incubus zombie... Uh, it was insane how the tree behind the Incubus Zombie also dropped because the bullets were going through the demon. It wasn't just hitting the demon, it was actually going through the demon. That's insane. And now this bottom floor, I'm guessing this is the most office chairs in this place. Um, I don't know what the top floors will, uh, are going to be like. But we need to be careful. We don't want to waste too much time and space on stuff like this. Wrench enough of these chairs. I thought it's a radiated zombie. Wrench enough of these chairs and they can actually make new stacks. Pull you up way too much. And we also want to be careful that we don't encounter too many demonic zombies. And if we do, we want to kill them before they can vomit. Remember guys, we are in closed quarters. So even if you dodge their vomit, their projectile puke, um, it can still hit something behind you and set your light. So even if you dodge their fireballs, you can still get, uh, catch a light and that's going to suck. Did you just fall outside? Or did you break through to this side? 
I need to be super careful when clearing these places. I don't draw too much attention to myself. What the hell? I'm trying to break this thing. There you go. Leg shot. While he's wavering. Oh, hello. Cool. I don't know why he didn't wake up just now. Look, I thought there was a zombie that was kneeled over. That's why I was like, what, what, what? Okay, so this is front of house. I'm guessing this is where we were supposed to come in. Because the stairs go up and down over here. But I still want to make sure we clear out one side first before the other. I think after looting this place, we should have enough of these notes as well. I want to be careful. Sometimes just random items in game look like zombies. So it gives you such a fright because you think, oh no, crap. And then just as your mind playing tricks on you because you're so on on guard yeah because you're so tense so anxious anything can look like a zombie and that's gonna cost you later have we done this side is this where we came wait what i think we just made a full th uh, 360 now we have to turn this way we came from this other side now we have to come from this side also this is one building guys that over there and this over here is the same building we have to actually go to the parking lot after this I need to make sure I'm constantly reloading the rifle as well, because you might just need a few shots in a row. Did I clear these rooms out? I don't think so. Nope. Hello, and because I can't see your head, now when you're on your knees... Oh! Oh crap, 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 crap. He was just blocking my way out. That could have been bad. I don't think there's any zombies in here, which is okay. I need to be careful, guys. Some of these rooms seem interlinked. Okay, nice to know. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Right through everything. So this room is also going to be connected to the uh, next one, right? Zombie using the toilet. Nice. I love this kind of effect. Zombie, oh, the guy died on the toilet, and now he's a zombie. That makes so much sense. Wait, what's this? I'll make sure I don't get caught off guard, so we need to be careful. Not to take too many zombies on at a time. So we need to go upstairs as well. We need to turn around over here. You need to be careful of especially the wolves, guys. Uh, those guys, with, yeah, with every bite, they set you alight. And then also, um, they do regen faster than the dom normal demonic zombies. Oh, hello. It's actually kind of cool. The rooms are all connected like this. That's actually really, really awesome. Now we just need to get out of here. The nice thing is the zombies have to break through. I wonder if they know where the hole in the window is. They shouldn't, right? But knowing this game, they'll definitely come from the side the hole is. Just do this. I want to make sure we clear out all the office chairs and stuff. Guys, the amount of electrical uh, parts and mechanical parts we're getting right now is insane. And also after this, I want to make sure we go to, uh, to the bike and just drop everything off there. We just came out that room. Kitchen. Hello, hello, hello. That was kind of dumb of me. I completely skipped that room to come check at the back, and there might have been way tougher zombies here, and then you get caught off guard from both sides. Also, guys, those of you new to the game, do not step on cooking pots. They might not be cooking pots. They mostly are, but if you can't pick them up, then it's a bomb. And no one wants to step on a bomb. Hello? This place is so massive, it's easy to miss rooms. Okay, so we got all the sides. Now we just need to go up. Yeah, now we just need to go up. It's easier said than done, though, because these top floors might be way more crowded. Now that we're up here, we wait for the zombies to spawn in. And on that side, a few on this side. I wonder if shooting these will wake up the others. See, this is why you need to have this one reloaded, so you can always just use it when you need to. Oh, crap. Someone's gonna vomit at me, so let's just run towards it. 
There's a cop here somewhere. Hello. Before you vomit, thank you. If they don't vomit, you can't set a, a third set of lights. I need to be careful that we don't all of a sudden get a behemoth in our faces. It's quite easy to actually get one. Look, what I'm gonna, what I think I'm gonna do, guys, is, oh wow, both of these are gonna wake up. Run, 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 run. What I'm gonna do is, I'm not going to wrench these uh, chairs right now. I'll wrench them after I've cleared the floors. Then again, it's easy to get lost, so technically I should wrench them now, since later I won't know where these rooms are. Let me just fill up on food and water quickly. It's just, it's so boring sometimes, just wrenching, 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 wrenching. No, 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 no. Okay. See, this is an easy way for us to get through the rooms. Just break the windows like they're doing and try and get through. But damn. Now, this PR is actually rather huge. The thing, like I said, the thing that takes the most time right now is picking up all these chairs and stuff. So that's why I'm actually considering doing it on the way back down instead of now. Although, you know what, since we're here, let's just do it. Like I said, if we get uh, lost in here, we won't know that we've skipped these. We can get so many electrical parts and mechanical parts just from this one PRI, if you play our cards right. And then with the rest of the PRIs, we don't have to be so thorough. We can just, every now and then, uh, arrange something if we wanted to. I mean, all these uh, desks over here, guys, they might have some good loot. But we don't really have a ton of time or a ton of space to just loot everything and anything. Okay, so this side, let's just loot this. Definitely gonna be sleepers on this side, but I'll circle back to that side. We start on this side, go all the way around, finish on that side. No? Wait, was I already in this place? Oh no, this is where the spider was, right? That's why it's clear, because he was the only one in here, and I think one of the nurses, or one of the zombies that came around the corner might have been from this room. We should be able to actually see... Nope, there's a zombie right there. Down the hallway, so we can actually kill a few like this. Oh, that's a cop. Let's just see if we can't get its attention. Oh, wow. We actually managed to kill it in one shot. I thought we were going to have to lure it this way and then finish it off another way. Okay, nothing in this back room. There's a zombie there. I want to be so, so careful with how we play this. We can't just take too many unnecessary chances right now. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now, where does this lead to, though? It leads back down, but if I'm not mistaken, we already did all the downwards. Yep. Everything downstairs is done, so we just need to stick on top. And technically, now I can run a little bit faster through this place. Hello, hello, hello. There's fire just on the other side of this wall, so technically, all I need to do is this. Oh, I accidentally woke up that one. No, 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 no. Hit the floor. Crouch down, and then when you're in the same room as it, you can go for the headshots. Remember, since we're in one by one block, I don't want to go for headshots while they're standing. I feel that's cheating. So since we're cheating a little bit by actually hiding here, although he can easily destroy these, block, uh, these blocks. But since we're doing that trick, I want to make sure that we give them a fair chance to actually hit us, and we don't cheese it too much. I wonder. Yeah, this thing can zoom in. I almost forgot about that. You just scroll your mouse for those of you wondering and it actually zooms in for you. I actually completely forgot about that. The fact that it can do that. We were just in there. Any zombies? Hello? Anyone on the shed or over here? I'm just really scared of zombies spawning in late. That's my biggest fear right now. Other than that, I think we are set. We can take on any zombie, more or less. Oh. I'm gonna destroy the bottom one, so they have to destroy the top one to get to us. Hello? They didn't even see you in here. Damn. Some of these zombies camouflage so well, although I'm not really paying attention. I just want to stay alive. I'm more focused on clearing these rooms in one, uh, one piece. Um, that I'm not actually really paying attention to what's inside the room. Although that doesn't make sense. Since I'm going to go through one piece, I need to make sure I don't do something dumb. Okay, so we're just going to do this. We're going to make some space over here. I want to start gathering the feathers again because we are going to need it later when we have the titanium bow. Crossbow. 
Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hello? Let's have some way. Any fire zombies? Let's just leave it back down, but we've already been downstairs. Nice. We should be safe up here because I think the only thing that was in here was that one zombie and we killed it. It's actually nice when the zombies come through you. They make a hole that you can shoot them through if they go through the walls over here. Or if not, like for example, he's making a hole to the next room. So if he gets through, I'll be able to use this hole to go to the next room. Oops, if they get through it seems. Come on, don't waste time. Oh, that, you're just tough. Remember that I thought he's going to be another demonic one. But it was his friend's fire camouflaging him. Okay, so we just came from this room. This room is empty. Guys, this place has so many rooms, it's really hard to tell what's where. Nah. No, thank you. And there was definitely that one zombie earlier that we shot from the other side of the room. Is this the final... Oh, that goes up. That's usually not a good thing. If it can go up, it means there might be some tough zombies on the roof. So as soon as we're done, we need to go up here. I don't want to check it now, and then there is a behemoth or something we have to run away from. For now, I just want to loot these, and then we'll go to the next room, and I need to remember. I think I'm just going to place like a chest or something outside so I know which room this is. So, for example, I'm just going to do this, and I have to go back in there. Now we just quickly check out these rooms. I just need that clear shot for the heads. Then this is quite easy. One demonic left, so we can jump the counter. Hello, hello, hello. I don't really mind facing the tough zombies like these up close and personal. As long as they don't come from all directions and just annihilate you. So since I knew he was the only one in here, for example, it was easy enough. Now we need space. Oh, max level for that skill. Nice. Which means we can now use that there. I do need to go jump a few things on my bike. We do have a little bit of wood, so I can scrap that now. Damn, we are solo. Technically, I can drink this. That's one more slot that we can use. And then if I do this, we can now shorten that to 12 slots that I need to protect. Okay, I'm actually kind of curious to see what's in the roof. And I know we have to go around as well. Um, uh, There was that one half stairway thing to the uh, parking lot. We need to still go do the parking lot before it's too late. The later we do that, the darker it's going to get, the harder it's going to get. Stand up and loot. For those of you who don't know, if you're crouching, you take longer to loot stuff. Oh crap. Um, thank you. Hello. Oh, you just got flung, didn't you? Damn. Okay, so one room left, it seems. And then after this room, we just have to go to the attic and the garage. But I think, let's just go dump a few things on the bike first, before we start doing the garage area. The car parking lot. I mean, my inventory might, is so full already, I might start dropping electrical and mechanical parts soon as well. And that's gonna suck. I don't know why my dogs are barking all of a sudden again. It's weird, on the... It's so loud guys, I can actually hear it so, so clearly. But uh, you guys said you don't hear the dogs when they bark like that, so I'll take your word for it. The thing also doesn't spike like when the, this... I might just have to pause quickly because this is annoying. Okay, I'm just going to quickly cut away. I'm going to dump the stuff and go back up and then see you guys now. Okay, that's more or less done. Um, I just I cleared up a little bit of space over here so we can actually get going. Ooh, this is the roof. I hope there's tough zombies in the roof. I say until I get swarmed with zombies. Aww, there's no one here. Although the car lot is just, the poppy lot's just there. So I'm going to go from the top to the bottom of that one. So yeah, guys, this dog that was just barking, um, and at night time, she sometimes barks for the right reason. Like, for example, uh, last night at, or this morning, early, at about 1 o'clock or 1 a.m., um, she was barking and barking and barking, but if you listen closely, there's whistling and stuff in the background. So there's, but it's um, criminals walking up and down, whistling to each other, communicating that way. And you can actually hear it's not birds because they're running down the street and they're going crazy. So th and then when she barks, it's awesome. She, uh, she tells you there's someone there. Be careful. But now, sometimes she just barks at nothing. We checked. The electric fence is off, which is actually bad because of the criminals outside. Um, but yeah, 
uh, the electric fence post off, so it's not buzzing from that that she's hearing. Um, the lights aren't working at the moment, so it's not the buzzing from that that she's hearing. So something's annoying or irritating her ears because she's just barking. It's almost like she sees ghosts and stuff. And then she just goes ham on them. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have any repair kits. Oh well, let's just do this then. You can give us some iron, but not anything else. Damn, that sucks. I should actually bring a few repair kits with me, but I didn't think it was going to be necessary. Also, eggs, eggs, eggs. Thank you. There are so many bird's nests in the world that I just drive past and run past, and then later I realize, oh crap, I actually needed some of those. My whole body's just clicking away. Okay, so, scrap, grab, and let's go. Technically, let's just quickly break these as well. We should actually start see, uh, seeing some zombies spawn in soon. Because of all the noise we're making. Also, guys, my bike is full, so I can't even go drop anything more on the bike. So, whatever space we need right now, we're not going to get any more than this. Um, so, let's just hope we don't get, like, really epic stuff and we're forced to choose what we want to keep and what we want to let go. This is the parking lot of here. You can just hear the zombies up there. Damn. Yeah, I want to see if I can't just do that. Do this. If I can kill all of them this way, why not? You can see this is like a business or something. Because there's a ton of these business workers or businessmen zombies. A ton of them. Okay, so technically I should loot all the cars, range all the cars. But I'll have to come back for the cars, guys. Because like I said, we don't just don't have the space. We also already have like 10k gas almost, so that's cool. But it's still going to be enough for everything we need to do. I could technically just wrench, um, not give a damn about a few things, but um, later on we might need the engines and the batteries and stuff we don't take right now. Oh, there's a dog over there. Oh. I think that wolf just woke up as well. I need to be careful of stuff like that. That wolf downstairs could have easily seen me just now or heard all the commotion. I mean, he did. And he's taking advantage of the situation. Hello? I thought you were a corpse lying here. But yeah, we need to be super, super careful. At least these don't have black... Aww. I want to say at least these don't have black dyes on them so we can just scrap them. But black dyes are going to take the space anyways if we don't do that. So let's do this. Can I grab this? No, thank you. That wolf, if I can see its head. This thing can be really, really nasty if you're not careful. So you want to make sure you can kill it at least in a shot or two. And then just pick off the other zombies one at a time. The recoil on this is insane though. Yo, let me just quickly go down. Okay, there's a ton of demons still down here. Need to reload. Guys, these floors are so filled with demons, it's actually insane. But it's what makes it so fun. Thank you. See, this gun, you have to make sure you hit them or kill them at first shot. Otherwise, you waste so much ammo. And it's funny how all the demonic zombies are dropping stuff, except the ones we need to drop stuff. Like I said, we need the uh, utility workers and the bikers to drop stuff. At the moment, they're just not dropping stuff. Hello, fire zombie. I just, just saw your flame. If it's just demonic zombies like this, it's going to be easy. But if all of a sudden we turn the corner and there's a behemoth next to us or below us or something, that's going to be bad. Wait, what? Remember that? I was like, what is that on top of the garbage? That looked so weird. It goes to show the bottom levels are so easy with all these normal zombies. When you get to this level, all of a sudden... Uh, yeah, it's, it's easy because there's a few demonic zombies and this. Then you get to the top levels and just look at all those demonic zombies we have to kill. Oh, hello, hello. Wait, what? I could have sworn I hit it just now. Bye-bye, spider. Okay, there's a wolf. Which means this over here is also a wolf. Knew it. Yeah, but we have to be so careful over here because there's wolves, die wolves, not just zombies. I mean, it could easily be a zombie bear around the corner as soon as you turn it. It's getting late in the game. You can see we need to get it done with this pure eye now. 
We've been busy with this one for so damn long, it's insane. Now, this guy's on the stairs. So if we took the stairs up to the roof, we would have encountered him. But since we don't take stairs, we just take the ramps like cars. <laughs> oh, come on. Every time I send him flying, I, it takes longer to kill him. Because he heals as he goes flying. I don't see any animals on the minimap. That's a nice thing about the minimap. It shows you if there's any animals. So if you don't see animals, then it's just the zombies. Which, I mean, isn't, he, uh, that, isn't that much better. It could be really, really tough zombies, so we have to be careful. Now, where is this zombie I'm hearing? Oh, there you go. Hello. Technically, the staircase might have even more of them, but we are done for now. Like I said, we're going to have to come back for the cars, unfortunately, because we just don't have the space to wrench them. But at least as far as I'm aware, I definitely wrenched every single... Uh chair and what do you call it pc that i came across so that alone that just gave me a ton of electrical parts right yeah look at this 200 mechanical 400 and something electrical but now we're gonna have to go to the base first this was the last pure eye on the outskirts so that's awesome but now it gives us a reason to go back to the base we need to drop all the stuff we can't afford to keep looting if we're uh, this encumbered because we won't be able to grab anything new oh i can't wait for this place this is a bunker underneath, so there should be some tough zombies hidden too. Because I love the fact that we are all, we are so late game at the moment, we can do all these things easily. But now the nice thing is, as soon as we're done with all the awesome PRIs in this town, we're going to go to the wasteland where it's just going to be a, a step up. There's always going to be demons, there's always going to be demonic zombies, behemoths, just all the badass things we only now and then see here. It's going to be rampant in the wasteland. So, uh, we're pre actually preparing ourselves now by facing all these zombies, just fighting them to the death. Later, we're going to have the real challenge, though. Okay, see you guys now. Okay, so I finally have my inventory sorting done. Just do this. Um, guys, all boxes are getting way, way too full at the moment. As you can see, we already have ammo over here. Yeah, not anymore. We need only have one slot left there, and then this is also getting rather full. Technically, I could make myself quite a bit of normal quill ammo, but I wonder if I shouldn't just first go for the armor piercing. Um, <laughs> I say as I grab it, because we need to really start making armor piercing rounds, but it requires iron. This is easy enough to make. You just go voila, and then boom. Okay, ooh, this is done. Thank you. Uh, armor piercing, 71 shots, and then normal rounds. Let's go about 390 each. I think that's the right amount. Boom. And then last one over here. Okay. So as you guys can see, I'm also scrapping a ton of uh, clothing. Well, I scrapped a ton of clothing because I took all the dyes off the clothing in here. We have all these over here left. And I just checked. We're literally two schematics. Just two schematics away from getting the next uh, martial class. So close yet so far. It sucks. Okay. So ammo parts to go over here. We just need more tips and we can actually make more rounds. Like 600 more. So what I could do is I could just go and dismantle all this ammo over here. It's going to give me tips. Unfortunately, you don't get the casings. Whether it's steel ammo, normal ammo, you don't get the casings. You just get tips and gunpowder. But yeah, I want to take all the ammo we don't use. Just dismantle those. It's a shame you can't bulk open them. Like shift and open. Um, because yeah, that would be way, way, way faster. Okay, so that's the crossbow. Where is... So the auger's in this one. Yes. Oh man, I'm so tempted to use the auger. Instead of using the pick, just use the auger. Although, what devil pick can I make right now? Pick, titanium. Ooh, that's way better than what I have right now, right? So technically, what does it cost to make it quickly? The, the higher the level of pick, the better we're going to, or the easier we're going to break through things. So we need 20 of this one. Sometimes it's just a little bit easier doing this way around. And other times it's a little bit more tedious. Okay, 20 of that, 10 of this one, and then just some wood, right? 10 wood. As soon as we have this, we'll be able to make ourselves a proper quality pick. I don't know how long that's going to take, though. It is day 77, so the horde is going to come in the morning. Or at night, rather. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't do a little bit of upgrades. Already around the pillar. Alright, is that a screamer? No, that's just a normal zombie. Around the pillar over there, I'll already put some titanium. So we should be set or good to go. Wait, why is there so many zombies all of a sudden down there? 
At least they're all weak, but still, damn. Anyways, yeah. Um, did I not have my lights on just now? It feels like I didn't. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put that at the back. But yeah, uh, the Horde Knight is upon us. At least we do have a ton of 7.62 ammo. Um, I'm gonna have to keep my my repair kits with me as well. Because just now, when we were looting, I wanted to repair my tool over here, but I couldn't. At least this one, I don't think it matters too much what the quality is. Although, the higher the quality, I think the better still. So, we need to also mod it out. I didn't even realize we had a titanium auger. I just never used it. Wait, what? Block damage, 80. Block damage, 80. More or less the same. And block damage, 81. See, that's a big problem right now. The block... No, no, wait. The block damage, 100. So, this one's a little bit more damage than the auger. But attacks per minute 300, attacks per minute 67. So yeah, if you multiply this by 3. Um, but then again, no, we can't do that. If you divide this one by 3, let's just quickly check this. Yeah, this is how you do it. If you divide this by 3, it's more or less the same attacks per minute as that. And then the damage is way, way, way lower. So technically, if you're not looking at the attacks per minute, this thing is gonna, still going to be better. We just need to make sure it's fully, fully, fully modded out. At the moment, even if I do power attacks, it doesn't use up any stamina. It's basically just, it's a godly weapon. I'll never ever run out of stamina when using it. Okay, so let's just quickly lock those. We need to make some more food. We are super low on food. I don't want to use any eggs though. Because we are going to need it for other stuff. Grilled meat, miso, chili. I need canned food. Wait, what do I need for these? Do I need water? I have so much uh, sham and stuff, I should be able to use it, right? Let me just check if I grab some normal water. If I can make a few more recipes. Orange tea? Ooh. I know this fills you up a, a lot and it gives you wellness back. But why is my food so... I have so much sham and so much other stuff, but I can't really make anything. What is the key ingredient that I'm really missing right now? Bowl. No, we have bowls. I want to say bowls. <laughs> um, cornmeal. Basically, just cornmeal. Yeah, okay. And stock. We de So, I need to go actually go to the trade and just buy as much stock as possible. The more stock we have, the more food we'll be able to make. At the moment, we have all these cans. We can't even use them. That sucks. Okay, this we need to keep over here. We're going to put the other weapons. I'm not going to use this one for now, guys. Um, and also, as you guys can see, I have so many of the weapons already at level 80. But I'm not going to use this one right now. I'm going to wait until we don't have any quill ammo left. Or we're low on laser cells. Because remember, this is basically like the sniper rifle. The quill sniper. Except it has the effect of laser pistol of stopping re regeneration. That's kind of awesome. So make sure we have everything we need. Pistol. I think I made way too many. So I can actually quickly go and repair. I don't want to wait until it gets too low. Especially since we're out and about all the time. We can't... This is, for example, under half. If I was to go out and loot right now, ooh, also what about this? If I was to go out and loot right now, this would run out of quality and I, I wouldn't be able to use it. So I'll rather put it in here to repair, even if it loses or if it's a waste of a little bit of quality. But I know I have a proper gun to use. And then how much does it cost to make another laser workbench? Because I need one for repairs during the horde. Um, let's see. Let's just do this laser workbench. It's not that expensive. That's actually really cheap. Damn, okay. Uh, so we just need some titanium. That's over here. We need laser cells and we need electrical parts. Damn, that's cheap. I wonder if I shouldn't just make a few of these then. This one as well? No, that whoa, that one's expensive. But this one's not really that expensive. We need to be able to repair our stuff at the workbench while we do that. What's this? Plasma axe. Disabled regeneration of demons. Great at removing limbs, but not very good at cutting down trees. Power hammer. This is awesome. I didn't even notice that there was other weapons in this mod already. Damn. It might be fun to play around with those things. Okay, anyways, let's put the rest of this away. And technically, we can already put this on this one over here. Um, modify. Put that in there. That makes it like the laser pistol. And voila. Okay, so for the Horde Knight, we're going to need this. At least we are going to come in here for our M60. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm making the laser bench, guys. We need to be able to grab that, put it under where the generator is, and then if this one gets slow, we can use this. Because look how much 7.62 ammo we have. 
I'm actually really thinking of using only that gun for a while. And also, we do have an M60, but not a great quality. Uh, we can't make, or rather, the SMG, rather. Um, we can't make SMGs yet. It's still locked under Farmer class. So I wonder if I shouldn't, uh, or when I get these schematics, go for Farmer class first. We just need six, seven more. So I'm going to go for the Farmer class first so we can get the SMG at red. Because if you disable the re regeneration of zombies, the SMGs apparently tears through it. So that's definitely something I want to try. Okay, guys, I'm just going to call the episode here. If you, guys like the epi uh, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.